So guys, it's Free Guys Garage here with a new car to the fleet. Not really new, but whatever. It's my mom's car. So it is a 1992, I think, 93, 92, um, Mercedes 300 SL. Um, and my mom is by the camera. Um, she is recording today. Usually it's us, me recording. This car is awesome. We're not going to go to the interior yet, but we'll talk about that later. Um, it has a... Two point, two point three liter, um, six cylinder. I think it makes about two hundred horsepower. Kids over there playing. Um, so sorry, that's kind of a weird. But this motor is beautiful. You can check the oil. So this thing drains oil fast. But anyways, the motor is pretty lame. How much is it? Now to the next part. Turn off, I forgot to say. Engine, brake fluid. No, nope, not brake. Not brake. Uh, linker fluid. Radiator. radiator fluid. Without radiator fluid, like, it's fine now, and it was filled up last night, but when us were driving a lot yesterday, we had to pull over in our bank's parking lot because it failed. It was overheating almost to 120, about 115, which is a red on this car. So, yeah. To the next part, interior. So, um, we this is the interior now. It's a pretty cool radio. It's, this actually, I think it has to be on, but it pops out and you can take it into restaurants with you. And um, the steering wheel has a cover on it because it has a really awful crack on the top and it'll get worse eventually and it'll eventually probably have to get patched. So, anyways, I'm going to turn around to show some of the features. It has a good part of it. I guess we'll show that later and let's drive it. Gate opener. I think this is to our garage right in there. Um, shifter. Fortunately, it's kind of a pain to get um, everything out, even I'll talk about that later. This is your change. Change in there. This is your thing. Oh, crap. No, it comes out. Um, so See, you and can, it opens. Yeah, and it opens. You can have, like, registration in there. Don't want to show any of that. And also, it, um, in the back seat. <laughs> Don't show. Uh, even though I have glasses in here, they're pretty good. Yes, wear them while I'm driving. So, but there's not any back seat, unfortunately. But that's kind of not too big of a deal to me because I don't really need. I usually with friends or something driving around, something with mom or something. Um. Anyways, and this is a phone. Um, now we're going to go to the trunk part. Pause. And. So, this is a trunk in. This car has a trunk, yes. This thing covers up the battery. Because the battery's in the trunk in these cars. Don't put anything on that red wire. It'll light it on fire and explode the hell out of the car. And that would be no good. You know, it gets a little hot in here because the battery's hot. You know, batteries are always hot. Backpack, it's compressor and everything in there. Anyways, there's not much to see in the trunk. Now let's go drive it. So, now it's time to drive this car. Unfortunately, the seats are in a little weird. Of the seat controls are right here. This side of the car, right there. This is the way you did push them up. I city high. I've got her does too, but she's longer than me so let's start it doesn't have a bad purr to it want to hear it that was a decent purr the wind these don't put the air conditioning on because it'll overheat the car and kill you and the car 
Um, let's get away from all the kids screaming now. School time's over. And if you don't know, we have a lot of kids in our neighborhood. Um, which is why I need to be extra careful. I'm always careful, but. It's 86 degrees, I don't think that's true, but whatever. This car goes a little faster than most cars in this world. Watch this car coming, yeah, the car coming. Um, this car has a steering wheel. The steering wheel cover doesn't feel the best, but it looks pretty good on this car. Matches it pretty good. The radio blows out cool tunes, too. You can move it around and have that if you want. rather have that. You would rather have what? Like for your hands, we could probably twist oh, it. Oh, yeah. This car is pretty nice, though. It's a 93, and they don't know if Doug DeMiro hates these cars. I'll make another video on that in the future your future probably in a couple days that video will be out um if you don't know i have school even though i'm homeschooled so it's not really a big deal on like i don't have to do it late days or anything i can do it at eight in the morning it's fine for me i do school whenever i can where i can where uh, homeschooled you can kind of plan it's kind of like college you kind of go on your schedule so but whatever this car is a convertible top. Um, has a lot of nice features. Like, um, unfortunately, it doesn't have cup holders. But, I'm surprised. Because this is a luxury car. Most of them had these. These are expensive luxury cars. Um, the moment it might be new, but whatever. It has only 130,000 miles. It's, uh, we bought it and we, we, um, I wasn't around yet, but whatever. Um, and this car, when she sold to my grandpa, when she was a farmer and it sat out there and he probably put a thousand miles on it and never drove it besides so maybe once. Maybe drove it not more than once, probably. He drove it every once in a while and pulled up a gas. Got her detailed before it died about a couple falls ago. He died last year, so about a year before that, that fall is when he died. That fall is when he got it detailed, and it's honestly really nice, and it drives like a dream, honestly. It's super cool, honestly. Um, you know this car has more than you want to really, like, want to hear this purr? I have to get over this curb. You don't want to have a purr over a curve because that's no good. But whatever. Look up! There we go. It doesn't have a curve here, so. Not a curve, a bump. Just slow you down. That's a nice one. Um, I don't know. This car is awesome. And also, what else should I say? Um, this, up here? this car has attract so much attention around the neighborhood it's so cool it looks like um honestly what are you blinking for oh, i was getting over oh oh i throw my breakers on for no reason I, so um, this car makes about it takes awful mpg but whatever it's better than some of my cars that i have i mostly um me and my mom drive this around the neighborhood it takes a second for it to go. See that? It takes a minute. One's a color. I um, want to hear it again. It's a little, little difficult. This car doesn't go in a thousand RPM. It only goes in a hundred RPM. So like 800 RPM. Or like 100 RPM right now. Yep. Let's get over the bump. We're gonna really test it out now. No, we're not really testing it out. No, we're not. But we're just gonna. This car, I'm really slow in. It's really nice. It's an expensive car, expensive fixes. So, I like to drift. This car's not that into drifting. It's a 500. Get a 500 if you want to drift and go to a track. Rip the brake. Even though my 1966 Chevy C10 does some burnouts. I'll post that on Twitter at sirsrobert10 at gmail.com and 
Robert G now. What's your email? Yeah, Cyrus Robert 10. I think it's my my Twitter. I'll post that in the near future. And also, I might have it on a story on Instagram. I did some pretty mega burnouts out at our farm recently. Yesterday, actually. On my videos, I've, I did some mega burnouts. Like, I did a donut, pretty much. A donut, a donut, donut. Oh, well, how many ways we're going to be pulling in here soon. Back at the house. Back at the... Oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, move. No. Okay. <laughs> he moved. Cameron and my mom's behind me. Complaining on how I'm driving a car. She doesn't want to be seen. Even though you will see her in some videos. Definitely. I still do have gaming videos from a while ago. I'm probably going to delete those and like start, start all backwards and make me squeal like a piggy. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to pull in here. And we're going to be making another video soon. So this video is probably going to be the ending. See you next time. Peace.